okay, I filmed this once and it looked like garbage. <laughs> so here we are again. If this is the first video of mine you're watching, my name's Angela, I'm 31 years old. I have been married for six years. I have a two and a half year old and I'm trying to lose weight. This is not the first time I've tried to lose weight. This is like the, uh, it's been a lot of attempts. This time it's actually sticking. I just recently got my 25 pound charm from Weight Watchers. I officially have lost about 28 pounds. I started Weight Watchers in September of 2019. My heaviest weight before I started Weight Watchers was 216 pounds. I am five foot three. I currently weigh around 188 to 190. I've been fluctuating. For the past month, I have not uploaded a video to YouTube, which I'm really upset about actually. YouTube is a hobby of mine. I love to film videos. I love to edit. I love to do all of that. And it's actually, I would consider YouTube to be a form of self-care for me. Now, what I haven't shared on this channel before is what I do for my day job. I think I've said like in other videos, I was a health educator in the past, but I left that job last summer and currently I work for a local public health department in New York State. Needless to say, <laughs> it's been busy for the last month. When I've been so go, 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 go at work, I come home and I don't want to do anything. I just want to be, like I just want it to be quiet <laughs> and focus on being with my family. I've also had to work on the weekends too, which has interfered with YouTube. Typically I film on the weekend and I'll film like a couple of videos at once and then I edit them and put them out once a week. So that hasn't been easy to do around that work schedule. I will say um, I am very grateful to have a job. I am grateful to be financially secure at the moment. I am grateful that my husband works for a school district and has been able to stay home with our daughter with full pay. We are very fortunate in that regard and I am very grateful to be in the position that I'm in. So I wanted to hop on and kind of give that update of where I've been because I was so good. I was doing like a video a week and then COVID-19 took over. I also wanted to give a check-in for how Weight Watchers is going as an essential employee. So how has it been going? Eh. <laughs> I think the easiest way to explain it is that's like one week I'm on and one week I'm off. I am currently, right now, I'm back on. Um, I had a little bit of an off week slash weekend <laughs> last week and Mondays are like my, I get all my weeklies back. It's a fresh start to the week. So I've had a really good day today, actually. I still have 10 points left for the day, but I did make Chris a chocolate chip cookie cake with chocolate frosting. So I'm probably gonna eat some of that <laughs> and be done for the day. So I can tell you exactly when things started to go a little haywire. So it was the beginning of March when my job, in terms of COVID-19, really started to pick up. Now in my job, I am primarily responsible for lots of things prior to COVID-19. Right now, my primary goal um, in my position is messaging. So I am responsible for our Facebook page, our website updates. We do Facebook Live events to keep the community informed with changes that are happening in the community and a couple other things in there too, but that's been my role. So that role has been busy <laughs> because information is constantly changing and it makes this all really hard to keep track of. I'm going on my app right now. You probably won't be able to see this. If you can't see this on the camera, I will make sure to screenshot and put it as like a side by side. So January, my blue dots were really good. I had a couple off days for Sundays, a couple off days for Saturdays, but for the most part, that's a lot of blue dots for me. February, same thing, except I had a lot more Friday, Saturdays where I either wasn't tracking or I was going over the amount of points that would have given me a blue dot for the day. March looks a little different. There were some days that I was tracking and then there were a lot of days that I was not. And you can see like the fourth through the seventh is when it kind of started to hit us at the health department. And I don't mean hit us as in positive cases, I mean, hit us as in everything that we were doing 
in our regular roles and responsibilities shifted and we were all trying to figure out where what our place was in this pandemic. So now that you've seen my blue dots, let's check into my weight. So let me just give you a couple numbers from February to give you an idea of where I was to where I am now. So February 19th, I weighed in at 194. The 26th, I weighed in at 192. The 27th, I weighed in at 191. March 4th, 192. March 11th, 191. March 18th, 190, March 25th, 191, and then April 1st, I hit 188. And as of April 15th, I also weighed 188. I have not weighed myself since then. I technically am supposed to track my weight on Mondays because that's when my week restarts. But for whatever reason, I really like to weigh it on Wednesday, probably because weekends are normally when I use my weeklies or don't track at all. And I feel like Monday, is probably when I'm holding some of that water weight, right? I probably ate too much sodium. So I give my body a couple of days to like readjust. I don't, I'm probably not supposed to do that, but I like starting my weeks on Monday, but I don't necessarily like my weigh-in day to be Monday, if that makes sense. So I guess since the pandemic kind of took over in my world, I mean, on my app, it says I've lost about five pounds <laughs> four and a half five pounds so I must not be doing too bad I will say at the beginning I was having a hard time finding time to eat because I felt like I was so like go 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 and now we've kind of settled into a routine working throughout this has it's been interesting in terms of Weight Watchers the community support that has been shown has been amazing and I didn't have any doubt that that was going to be the case where I live. I live in a wonderful county and a wonderful community where we all really take care of each other. We all know each other. It's one of those, those of you from small towns, you'll understand what I'm saying. You just kind of know everybody and if you don't really know them, you know someone that knows them kind of deal. They've been wonderful and they've shown their support. How? Through food. They drop off everything from muffins, to cookies, to lunches from local businesses, because I don't know how it works in any other state, but in New York, restaurants can stay open as long as it's takeout only. So I'm surrounded by food <laughs> and my weakness tends to be sweets and there have been a lot of those. I will say, I think one thing that I've succeeded in so far is being mindful of my choices. There was one day recently where we had lemon bars and banana bread and all of these other sweet treats. And prior to WW or Weight Watchers, I would have grabbed one of each. But now I look at that table differently. I look at it as points, first of all. And not only that, points that I don't know, right? I didn't make that item. I don't know all of the ingredients that went in it, which makes me slightly anxious. Knowing that now, I feel like I have a different look at food. I look at it differently. So instead what I did that day is I picked the two things that I really wanted to try which happened to be the lemon bars and a, the banana bread and I didn't grab like a huge slice of banana bread. I tried like a little piece just to try it and to have the taste of it. Another thing that I've been focusing on lately is water intake. I am a horrible water intake person water intaker. I don't drink a lot of water. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. For my weight, I really want to hit at least half of my body weight in ounces. So right now, that would be about 95 ounces a day. So what I did to help battle that is I bought a huge water bottle. This is the water bottle that I've been using. And if you need something to judge the size, here is my head. This is a huge water bottle. It is a one gallon water bottle, otherwise 128 ounces or 3,800 milliliters. I got this water bottle idea from another YouTuber. Her name is Ashley and her channel is called A Little Less Ashley. And I would highly recommend looking her up. She uses a water bottle like this and I see it in all of her videos. It made me realize that maybe I need to just attack it a little differently. In the past, I've had 64 ounce water bottles and those have helped me tremendously, partially kind of because I'm lazy. So if I have a 20 ounce water bottle, 
and I'm at work and I'm really, really busy, I will um, work, 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 drink my water. I'll finish my water, but because I'm in the middle of something, I don't want to get up and take a break and go get more water. I just sit there and keep working and then before I know it, like an hour has gone by and I haven't had any water. So this has proven to be very helpful so far. I did fill it to the top this morning. It is currently 917 and I am down to the about 8 p.m. line. So this will be gone before the end of the night is over. So thank you Ashley for featuring this in your video because I have found this very, very helpful. So I guess um, I'll leave it with this. I don't know what the schedule on this channel is gonna look like right now. I did film a what I eat in a day video over the weekend and I have two other videos that were filmed at the beginning, no, at the middle of March. So usually when I film, like whatever I film this weekend say, I would have posted it the following weekend because I have a whole week to edit it and then get it up the following weekend. So the video, the videos I filmed two back in March, I think it was like the 14th and the 15th of March, I was gonna push out the 21st and 22nd, but things just got really real at work and they didn't go out. And now we're a month later and I didn't know if I should post them. I might make it one big video, I don't know. It's a grocery haul. I regret not filming a little bit more when I was in the store that day. That was the weekend in my area that everybody started panic buying at the grocery store. So that seeing Aldi shelves bare was really eerie. And then while Chris and I were out grocery shopping that day, we also found out that the local schools in our area were going to close temporarily. Currently, it's April 20th that I'm filming this. Our schools have not closed for the school year yet. Typically, our school year is over like middle to end of June, depending on what grade you're in. So hearing that, that day, it was like, go to the grocery store, holy crap, the shelves are bare, go to another store, start getting what we need, holy crap, the schools are closing. And it was a lot to take in. So I have that video. The other video I filmed that day was the cupboard organization video that I said I had been planning to do, I think, um, a while ago. So that one is pretty much done. I think I'm going to upload those. I'll just make sure I put like a date in the beginning of the video so that you all know it's not from current day, it's from back when everything really started changing here. So I think I've said all I wanted to say in this update. Like it's bonkers when I sit here and think, you've lost about 28 pounds, almost 30. Weight loss has always been difficult for me. It was always the yo-yo diets and trying to lose weight really, really fast. And while it is taking a while for the weight to come off, I'm not mad about it because I feel like it's sustainable. This is what's going to make this successful. This is what's going to help keep it off. And I never want to go back to the girl that I was last year. In 2019, I felt like my mental health had taken a hit. My physical health in terms of my weight was not good at all. Um, and now I feel like I'm getting a hold on things like my weight and my mental health is probably the best it's been in a long time. So I don't want this video to be too long. That was just a check-in to let you know where I've been. I'm still around. I'm still doing WW. If you have Instagram and want to see more frequent updates than what you're getting here on YouTube, please head over to Instagram and follow me there. I will put my username on the screen because I post pretty much daily um, on my stories there and kind of show what I'm eating for the day and what the point values are. I love Instagram. I get a lot of inspiration and a lot of really great ideas from Instagram. So with all of that said, <laughs> Whoever's watching this right now, I sincerely want to wish you well. I hope that everything is going okay or as okay as it can be right now. Remember to wash your hands. <laughs> Just do all of the things that a socially responsible adult would do right now. So I hope you're taking care of yourself. Leave a comment below. Let me know how you're doing and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.
it's the end of the day by the way it's like 9 08 p.m. my makeup's looking rough I'm feeling a little rough silence actually. I think I'm done. I'm tired. My brain is fried. And I want cookie cake, damn it. <laughs>